Yes, lads, and welcome back to the Jebo37 YouTube channel. And today, guys, we are back with another match day vlog. Everton against Aston Villa. Rafa Benitez got sacked after the Norwich game. And Duncan Ferguson is in instant charge. You know what? Everything looks set in stone. And it looks so positive today in terms of Everton FC. Now, we watched the press conference, you know, they said... Do, they, do the players know what it means to play for Everton? And Duncan Ferguson replied saying something like, well, if they don't, they do now. So, it, it looks very positive. It looks very positive. And we have to be very positive today. We've got to get behind the lads, get behind the team, and hope that we can get three points to save ourselves today. So, how is this going to work? I don't know. I really don't know. We just do whatever we do on the match day vlogs, guys. And hopefully we get three points and it turns out to be a good vlog. So, I just want to say a massive thank you for the support lately on the channel as well. And can we reach 500 subscribers? So, yeah. And just one of them. Up the toffees and see you guys at Goodison Park.
honest with you, it's our time, just looking to the board. But corner in from Luca Dean, Emmy Brandy is head, but it's a goal to Aston Villa to put them on the left to three. It literally does nothing between the goal and half time, to be honest with you. No, we have looked down at it because the boys have actually put a performance in this half, they put a shift in. Corner ball, Luca Dean, Brandy is head, draw up to be fair as well, pick between the few great seas, but I don't know, I don't know. Hopefully for a better second half, but come on Everton.
way to explain this is the Aston Villa fans about where I am now, yeah? Um, there's a fight that broke out, it looks like it's a tweed, yeah, but the fans are the Aston Villa fans, yeah? But, don't really know what else to say, except we're here for the sitting now, and, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed the vlog as much as you can as well, so, if you enjoy it, make sure you like and subscribe and tap the bell for more notifications, it's all looking really safe, really, you know, disappointing results, and I'll speak more about that when I get home. So guys, we are back from the game, and I mean, I've had time to think, I've had time to sleep, I've had time to have my thought process on how the game went today. You know, obviously it was a big occasion, Everton versus Aston Villa, it was never ever going to be easy, was it, you know, Aston Villa have had a very, very good transfer window and signing, obviously Luca Dean from us, Philippe Coutinho, uh, to be honest, they look a force to be reckoned with, you know, they defended brilliantly, they were brilliant on the transition, the, the fans were brilliant, they were up for that today, and however, it just made it look like the our best today wasn't good enough, and like, how can I put it, so, it's one of them really, um, in terms of how we was today, because the first half, we defended well for the majority of it, you know, obviously until Luca Dean, put the ball in the box and Emi Buendia, out of all people, Emi Buendia heads it into the back of the net, like let's process that for a minute, we switched off for that one second and that one second just led to them going 1-0 up um, just before half time, um, in regards to the sitting, I felt like it only worked for the people in the Gladys Street, like anywhere else you were just getting removed from the stadium because there was more people on the Gladys Street taking part than anywhere else, and it is shown massively. Um, so to those who have, um, how can I put it? To those who did take part in today, um, today, congratulations, well done. I hope everything has worked out as it should be. And hopefully this time for change will happen as well, and everything will work out in the process. So if we do get any footage from this sitting that happened, or anything like that, I will include it in the video, and you'll obviously see before I do this outro now, that it is included in the video, but yeah, hope you enjoyed the vlog guys, and a massive, massive thank you for reaching 500 subscribers on the channel, it's not just my channel, it's a whole collective channel, for the Blues, every football fan under the sun, where we just produce match day vlogs and that really, so just want to say a massive thank you in regards to that, and you know, it's made my weekend, you know, obviously after getting beat to Aston Villa and stuff like that, you know, it's something positive to look forward to as well. You know, the channel progressing and stuff like that. So, a massive thank you to you guys once again. And, yeah, there's not really much else to say, except I'll see you on the next match day vlog. It will be a bit different, because obviously it's the international break, so we're going to look for a team to go to. And this is what makes it so perfect. So, yeah, hope, um, hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you like, make sure you subscribe. And I shall see you guys on another match day vlog.